The first step of setting a table is choosing a tablecloth. Rachel enjoys shopping for unusual pieces in Little India, Los Angeles. In the search for different things for my kind of festive table, I decided to come down to Little India and just see if I could find maybe some interesting tablecloths. I came across Sari Nikitan. I'm just having a wonderful time searching through just to find the specific colors and all that kind of thing. And I thought it'd be nice to do a theme that had a kind of bohemian Indian flavor. And now I'm actually gathering some different scraps of fabric. They have a whole variety of real saris and fun saris, wedding saris, all of which have an enormous difference in price ranges. These type of things are made in New Delhi, India, the home industry that people are sitting and tacking all these laces and everything else wow. on it mm -hmm. and making them to be used as a scarf which is used for wedding purposes as well as for worship purposes. Rachel's inventive ideas result from finding eclectic uses for standard items. And I can see just using these as a runner down the middle of a table. My thought is to combine that with what they consider to be scraps of saris. The shabby chic thing is to, to mix and match as long as you have a theme. Our theme here obviously is the embroidery work, is the pastels, but they all work so beautifully together. And so what my intention is, is to really use a little bit of all of this. Maybe some of them will come napkins, some of them will be part of the tablecloth, but then to actually have this piece, the, uh, the scarf, run the whole length of it. And again, I mean, once we're done with the table, we can also use it as a bed cover. At the flea market, Rachel shops for one of her favorite table coverings, linens. This is a nice piece of linen. It's a very lovely piece, and I like the fineness of it. Linen provides a clean, traditional tablecloth. What I have is a whole pile of clean linens, and then when I actually want to use them, I'll just quickly get them wet, and then I'll put them through the dryer, and they go straight from the dryer onto my table. It's all kind of been folded, but it's not really ironed. It's just got a nice, fresh, laundered look, if I recall correctly. So it does have some stains. And all I would do with that is I would just actually place like a runner or something over that. And I, I go out of my way not to have this iron because I love the way the differences of the cotton and then the lace work here, it all kind of scrunches up in the wash. Now, this top layer here that I have, this we actually found at the flea market. And if I recall, it did feel a little bit to me threadbare, as I would call it, where in places it just felt like it was pretty fragile. So in this instance, this actually got a hand wash and a very delicate iron. Rachel also uses curtain panels as table coverings. This end here is actually where the pole would have gone through. But again, works perfectly for our table. Napkins are an affordable indulgence, making a lasting impression. Napkins are a very important part of our setting, and it's something that your guests will actually put up to their face and really have quite an intimate experience with. And I always try and stay with cottons or linens. Hotel qualities that you can actually get in kind of mail order catalogues now. And then, of course, the, the napkins that we even did find at the flea market. They're kind of an in-between, an elegance in a simple hotel, because they do actually have this nice work here but they're oversized. I like the bigness of them. Nice pattern. No stains to deal with. And they're quite splendid and they go wonderfully in this silver ring. So all of these things, layered, simple, by themselves, together, is a wonderful place to begin doing your table.